After Caesar's success tackling Truffle's first problem, he meets with Elisa to address another trouble area, Truffle's food aggression. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm so sorry, I brought Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Truffle is used to getting her weight all the time. She has little to no rules or boundaries. Yeah, no. this is your house. This is, yeah, we're coming into your house. Just like with the walk, she needs to respect the rules of when she can eat. For the first time in Truffle's life, I'm going to create a boundary around her food. That's right, that's right. Caesar is testing Truffle. And Truffle is gnawing on Caesar's hand. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Just relax. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> to my sheer mortification, Caesar is bleeding from Truffle biting his hand, and I feel like beep. The reason why I went and challenged, this right. was more psychological. Nobody has ever challenged Truffle. So in order for her to understand what I want, mm -hmm. is that she needed to retrieve on her own. Right. By creating a boundary around her food and not backing down, I am showing her that she can't get away with it. Even if it meant her biting my hand, I have to win. She can have her food when I allow her to. There you go. Good girl. That's a good girl.